Look at this piece of hair. It can't be tamed. <laughs> oh my goodness, all the planes are going past right now. Hello everybody. I know it's been a while. Like eight months, I think. Yeah, there's another plane. I'll just wait for that. Yeah, I think it's been about eight months. And I've actually already tried to film this video like three times. I just want to let you know that I have seen some comments and I was surprised because I don't know I, I know there are some really lovely people who watch my videos but I just didn't really expect anybody to notice and I don't think I ever intentionally just stopped uploading um, just a lot of things all happened yeah I just kind of didn't but here I am now so hi and I hope you guys are all doing well I'm really sorry about the lighting in this room by the way I've got this curtain open here and this one closed behind me otherwise I'd be too backlit you can probably see I'm sitting in an empty room so I've got the camera like in the wardrobe literally that's the only spot to put it at the moment so We'll just have to make do with that. I don't even know where to start. I think the last video I uploaded might have been like pressure washing the fence outside, getting that ready to paint. That is a big job. It's almost done. I think there's like one or two like panels or sections left. We've run out of paint, so we need to get some more, but it looks so much better so can't wait to show you guys that I think maybe no I know I definitely mentioned we were having trouble getting anyone to come and do our restumping for us and weirdly the guy that I initially rang he just randomly it was like eight o'clock at night he rang and he's like can we come and do the stumps tomorrow and this was in December I want to say I was like, sure, I mean, we're not going to be home tomorrow. I had an appointment in Brisbane for my um, braces. They started, it was a very stressful process actually because Winston, our puppy, was getting in the way. I had to keep him on lead anytime he was outside. And if you have seen him before, you know, he's just like super energetic and super demanding. So. That was very difficult to keep him occupied and like in the heat I was walking him up to five times a day just to make sure he was getting enough outside time and exercise and anyway they did a good job but yeah the people who did it I probably wouldn't recommend just I felt like there were just a few things and poor time management was one of the biggest things renovating is so stressful in general but then when there are issues that come up it can it can take a toll so we've had quite a few setbacks and we're getting through it but we've actually been able to start painting and doing things inside the house now which has been good things aren't moving as quickly as we would like but I'll explain that all in a second as well but I think another one of the big reasons why I kind of stopped uploading for a little while was we just weren't really moving forward with anything because there wasn't a lot we could do besides paint the fence while waiting for someone to do stumps and we actually had an intruder come into our property like he walked straight in through our driveway came through the like back gate he opened it um, and he came up to our back door and was like turning the handle trying to open it obviously he was just being opportunistic and trying to find some easy things to steal I would say but that really gave me a fright as well and I I had a lot of anxiety from that we ended up getting a couple of additional security cameras that's how we know we had somebody here because it was caught on our back camera but we didn't wake up because I always have my phone on silent and we didn't know you could 
set up like an alarm that goes off when people come in and you can do that over a certain like time frame so now if somebody even came into our driveway we have a camera in there as well and it would make the alarms go off and they would in the main like hub inside the house it would go off as well and that would wake me up because I'm quite a light sleeper but yeah I wonder if we would have even known if the person didn't leave the back gate open when he left so he just kind of tried the tried the door handle a few times this is like one of the times I'm so thankful Kyle gets like super paranoid about checking like all the doors and windows and everything are locked and like he'll double and triple check that every night before we go to bed but yeah you just don't expect that kind of thing to happen yeah it gave me a lot of anxiety especially when Kyle had a work trip where he had to go away for a few nights and I was here by myself that was kind of scary but I got through it okay I feel a lot better now we also got like a massive thick chain to put around the gates on our driveway because they don't have like a latch or anything when you close them you couldn't cut it with bolt cutters it's so thick it's like a real big thick boy one we have a huge padlock on that so every morning we'll open that up and then at night before it gets dark Kyle usually goes out and puts the chain around and the padlock and then we've got padlocks on both of the back gates because there's actually two coming like from the driveway and they are bolt cutter proof padlocks as well seems to be working so far we haven't seen anybody else come in just a random ginger cat that we sometimes see on the security camera footage i have a feeling he might live in one of the units up behind us is that another plane <laughs> I chose a really great time to film, didn't I? Okay, I think that one's gone now. So the first room we started working on inside is actually the second bedroom, one that's closest to the bathroom. It's mostly done. We're actually sleeping in there at the moment. And I have taken footage of that, like as time has gone on, it isn't finished. Um, but I'm actually really excited to tell you it's going to be a baby's room. I can't even believe I'm saying that, but yeah, we're having a baby and it's a boy. I'm actually eight months pregnant. I'll show you my little baby bump. I'm wearing it like a t-shirt dress, so I can't lift it up and show you, but can you see? Maybe if I turn this way. There's my little bump. So cute. Actually, like every person I haven't seen for a while, they're like, oh my God, you're so tiny. I mean, I don't know what they expected or what big or small even is. I feel like everybody probably looks very different when they're pregnant. Well, they do. Everybody does. And I have an obstetrician, she's so good. She's always like, no, just tell them to mind their own business. Like, it's perfect the way that it is, perfect size. Actually, she's like the only doctor I've ever looked forward to going to see. And it's just because of how like caring and nurturing she is. So I'm so glad I found her. And the reason that I'm seeing an obstetrician is just because very early on in my pregnancy i had thyroid issues my levels went way up and that was very scary that was a really scary time i, I also see an endocrinologist for that the biggest worries for me were just that my levels were going to stay up and if i had antibodies it could pass through the placenta like there's a whole lot of stuff anyway i went on some medication my levels went back down into like the normal range and thank goodness I was able to get off of those tablets because they smell really bad and they give you nausea but let me just tell you this is like a really 
huge reason behind why I haven't really been uploading. I had morning sickness pretty bad. I obviously don't want to say like I've had it the worst um, because I know that people can be hospitalized with it but it was to the point where I could barely eat and drink. I hated everything. Everything smelled really bad and that was making me feel sick as well. And yeah, just like throwing up like pretty much every day. <laughs> it was really, it was, it was quite awful. And everyone was saying to me, oh, it'll be okay once you get to 14 weeks, like it'll stop. It'll be in second trimester then you'll feel great no <laughs> no that's another plane <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going because otherwise I will never get this video uploaded either and I still need to edit this I had morning sickness pretty badly until it was about 22 or 23 weeks I swear that's like the fourth plane where are they all coming from all of a sudden? I have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I was pretty sick up until like 23, 24 weeks. And then I finally started feeling like I was getting my appetite back, which was great. Over that period of time, I've been reintroducing food that I used to love, but definitely don't eat how I used to and now now that I'm eight months pregnant I'm just all the time like I need snacks every two to three hours I'm starving if you have been pregnant you will know what I mean you're not just like gradually getting hungry it's like I'm fine and then I'm starving I have to eat now <laughs> so that's been a fun time I've also had really bad insomnia since 22 weeks so yeah i don't really sleep i get a few hours i wake up anywhere between 12 and 2 and then that's about it sometimes when kyle leaves for work at around 5 i might be able to go back to sleep for about an hour but that depends if winston is behaving himself or not so yeah that really sucks can't wait till that's over which probably won't be until i give birth now <laughs> oh on top of that really low iron like really really low to the point where i had to have an infusion and they put like a IV thing. I still have the mark. You, you, I'm sure you can't see it from here, but I feel like when I wake up in the morning, when I first wake up, I feel like I've actually slept. So I think it's starting to kick in and that can take up to four weeks apparently. So yeah, that's been an interesting experience. I feel like finally, apart from, you know, finding it difficult to get up if I'm kneeling down on the ground or something or you know sometimes i won't lie when i'm sitting on the couch i find it difficult to get up to and my little bum has started like getting in the way when i'm putting my shoes on or taking them off so when kyle's home i definitely milk that and get him to help which he actually offers to like he's being pretty good actually i'm really excited like he is just as excited as I am and we just can't wait and actually we've just been talking a lot lately about what it's going to be like when our baby boy is here and thinking about you know the future with him that is another plane I am not kidding what is going on <laughs> Kyle's been really good too with the room makeovers or the renovations like he's done the majority of the physical work just because I can't I haven't been able to have had like no energy and just being like really sick and that but that's how we we have even managed to get this much done we pretty much have the two rooms done we just have everything crammed in the other room now because like the floors when they get sanded they're just absolutely full of dust and it gets into everything but in saying that there's just nothing that compares to like the original wooden flooring in a house and it's just come up so nice we've put like a a liming white it's called and we've kind of lime washed the floorboards and it just it just looks so nice um especially with the neutral wall color that we've chosen but 
I do talk more about that in filming the actual process. The baby's nursery will probably have to be in two parts. It'd be, I think, up to the point where it is now, minus all of our furniture in there. <laughs> and then the second part of that video would be like decorating the baby's nursery and putting all his furniture together and that kind of thing. We're doing everything on a very strict budget as well. I did not realize how much money we would spend in like medical costs on the obstetrician, um, the endocrinologist, even for this, because you have to, for the iron infusion, I had to get it done by a haematologist and it was like at a different private hospital. Yeah, it is, it is a lot. We worked out, we could have completely renovated our bathroom for the cost all up. That would be like plus hospital and everything. Um, and I guess like bits and pieces we bought for the baby as well, but we really haven't gone extravagant. It's definitely, definitely a very strict budget. The only thing we did spend on, and I wouldn't say we bought top of the line, but it was our pram and capsule because it's one of those like travel system ones where you can get the little capsule out of the car and click it onto the pram base, which will be super handy if I'm by myself as well. Camera's about to switch off, hang on. Why does a tiny person need so many things? Somebody tell me. <laughs> I don't think we've gone over the top at all. It's probably more leaning towards the minimal end of things. And I'm fine with that. Like if there's anything he needs after he's born, then we can go and get it then. But we're just on a super tight budget and that's okay. It does mean that renovations and things will take a lot longer around here as well. It is worth it knowing that I am going to have a safe and healthy baby delivered at the end of everything. And that's what's most important to both myself and Kyle. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in an, in an empty room as well. Like, we could have just moved all our furniture back in now that it's pretty much finished. It just looks so good in here. I love it. So the plan is we're going to hire the floor sander from Bunnings again because we still have wooden floors in the living and the dining areas. And we would really like to get that done before the baby gets here. So we don't want him breathing any of that dust in. So the plan is we will bring all of the living and dining furniture into this room and store it safely in here so it doesn't get ruined as well. Because we can close the door and like seal up around it with plastic to try and keep out as much of the dust as possible. Then Kyle will do the sanding with the big drum sander. And then there's like an edge sander as well that you can hire from Bunnings, which is just way better than the belt sander that we bought. Kyle did pretty much the entire floor in that room with the belt sander. Don't do it guys. Just go to Bunnings and hire a sander for a day. Honestly, Kyle's like, I'm never using that again after using the big one. And yeah. He's like a pro at it now. He did such a good job in here. So I think he wants to do that next weekend. I mean, we don't have a lot of time until this little guy arrives. That's just like the bare minimum I would like to have done is the floors. Because we can paint when he's having naps and I've been helping Kyle paint as much as I can. We're using low fume, water-based, low VOC paints. So. They're a lot safer and already, like this room is, is freshly done. There's no paint fume smell in here and we've been keeping the door open as well. And yeah, literally we finished painting last night. Well, besides the door, that needs another coat, which I might do today. But other than that, the rest is pretty much done. But yeah, I've got some really good budget purchases as well. So I'll be happy to share those with you and tell you how much they cost and what we spent on paint and all that kind of stuff. I'm really pleased with the outcome, like you can't tell. You can't tell that it's all been done 
as cheap as possible. Anyway, I feel like I've been talking for so long now and if you did leave a comment by the way, thank you for that and I hope I didn't worry anybody. That wasn't my intention. Like I said, I just, I don't think I thought anybody would really notice, but the fact that some people did. It was, it's just really nice to know that people care. And yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'll have like regular uploads anytime soon, but how about I try and put up like the first part of doing the baby's nursery in like my next upload. There's a lot of footage for that. So that's gonna be fun to edit because some's on this camera and some is on my phone, but I'll try my best because I have to like go back and piece it all together and put it in some kind of chronological order. So hopefully it makes sense. But when you see me working on that room in this room and I am looking terrible, I felt how I looked, so just ignore that. <laughs> Especially, like, I watched back some footage of me doing the liming wire on the floor in here, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just, just ignore it. Just pay attention to what's going on in the room. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I really actually need to end this video now, but if you made it this far, then Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.